How's it going, everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and it is that time of year. All of the 2023 set images have dropped. I am super, super excited, and I am going to be going through all of them for you today. Starting off with LEGO City here, I'm going to be breaking this video into two parts because there are so many set images. So this video is going to be all of the fire and police and ambulance themed stuff. And the other video is going to be just all the great vehicles and other stuff. There is a lot to get to, so let's just jump straight into this, starting with the 4x4 fire truck rescue. Now, this is going to be $13.99, and it is 97 pieces, so $10 in the United States. This is another good price set with a really nice design. Um, the tree back here is what it is. I mean, we're rescuing a cat. I like that it's a fall tree. If we want to have a little fire here, we can have that as well, but in particular, it's this van design that is really, really nice. I like that off-roader feel. I'm pretty sure this has got the turning function wheels on it. That's what it looks like. And I just like how this is propped up, the way the back of the truck is designed. Quite nice uh, with that little ladder and, uh, and the colors, the dimensions, everything here I really quite like. The firefighter minifigure is also decent as well. And I mean, the fish stick to get the cat down is kind of clever. Then there's the fire boat for $39.99. Now the set only has 144 pieces, so it's definitely more on the pricey side, but you do kind of expect that with boat sets because of the big boat molds. It's been a very long time since we've had a fire boat. Now this is a real floating one, and I actually think the design here is pretty good. It's not incredible, it's not mind blowing, but it's a lot better than the $80 uh, police boat from a few years ago because, uh, it is cheaper, which makes the, you know, even though the price to piece ratio is not great, it's a little more justifiable. And like I said, long time since we've had a fire boat. So I actually think they do a pretty good job here. The minifigures are not bad as well. I like this life vest piece. I don't think it's new, but it's newer. Uh, yeah, so a pretty good set. So then we have the fire station and fire truck for $50 in Canada, probably around $35.40 in the United States. Now this is 153 pieces, so an awful price to piece ratio. Also a four plus set, and this is one of the sets that I just have no love for. I just don't like four plus sets. This feels like a Lego friend set with the slide in here. Uh, the fire station looks like almost a joke, really. The fire truck is not all that interesting. Yeah, this is just really not a set that I have any interest in. The minifigures are fine, but uh, I don't have much more to say on that. This is basically the last Lego set I would ever buy. It's just not for me. Then there's the Fire Command truck for $80, probably $65 in the US. What a great set this is, 502 pieces. So again, not the worst price to piece ratio. And this command truck looks incredible. I don't think we've ever gotten a fire truck like this in Lego City before. And I felt like the Lego City fire trucks have been getting really stale. And so this is a really good way to spice it up. I'm still not sold on this bright yellow color, but it's there, so I'll deal with it. This is uh, a very rugged, off-terrain type of design. Uh, the side builds here are fine uh, with the fire. We've got like a, a electric substation type thing and just a little tree build. They're both okay. Uh, we got that rabbit mold again as well, but it's the fire truck and you know the the two drones here, the vehicle drone and the flying drone that really stand out to me. This fire truck build is fantastic. Even the winch at the front, a really nice build. Um, some, you know, really cool fire minifigure on the top here with a different outfit as well. So yeah, I really, really like this fire truck. Probably my favorite fire truck build in years. Getting towards the end here, we have the mobile police dog training for $40 in Canada, 30 in the United States. We've got an amputee in this set, which is really cool. That is something I've never seen before from Lego. So good job with that. I like the police van build here as well. It's not bad. The training course is a lot of fun. At 197 pieces, this one is a little bit on the pricier side, uh, but I still really like the builds. I am mixed on whether this is actually a buy for me because I just have so many police vehicles, but the whole training ground area is quite nice. I like the stuff that fits in the trailer here at the back as well. So I think this is a really nice set that police dog unit stickers fun as well. 
and all the builds are are definitely on the fresher side. So yeah, this is a this is a good set. I just have so much police at this point. I might have to be a pass. I think a lot of people are going to get it for this minifigure alone, though. Then there is the Police Training Academy. Now, this is $130 in Canada, so there'll be $100 in the United States, 823 pieces. And it's nice that they've finally broken that stale formula for police stations. Now, again, I'm still not sure that this is a buy for me, but I do like this build a lot. The Police Academy build itself is very clean. Uh, these obstacle courses look like a lot of fun from the zip line to like the wipeout style obstacle course, the climbing wall. This is a really fun idea and I like that they've finally changed it up and done something different with the big police set. So it's rather hard for me to complain. We also get lots of minifigures here, which is awesome. I see six of them plus a horse. So yeah, I'm very glad that Lego City has finally switched up the formula on police a little bit. And I think this set is going to sell well as a result. Then there is the Emergency Vehicles HQ. This is going to be $90, uh, probably 75-ish in the United States, 706 pieces, so another really good price point. And it's basically just a hospital uh, with a fire helicopter, an ambulance, and a police van. Uh, I guess you do have the red and the blue of the police in the build as well on top of the teal for the paramedic. So it's trying to kind of be a mix of everything. Um, I don't know. I just don't care for it all that much. The build itself doesn't feel all that interesting. It's a little bit on the smaller side. I, there's just better police stations and hospitals and all that on their own. Uh, the ambulance design, I don't care too much about either. Uh, I've got plenty of police vehicles, fire helicopters. So I think for someone who wants to get everything thrown into one here, this is great. Not to mention five minifigures, a good price point. There's a lot to like here. Um, this just isn't for me because I have all of these individually and they're better as individual sets than all thrown together here. Then there is the police bike car chase. Another $13, $14 set, $10 in the US, 59 pieces. And another really nice looking set. This does not look like 59 pieces to me. I absolutely love this uh, crook car design. It's fantastic. It's one of the best small cars I've seen from Lego City period. And getting the police bike thrown in here is a bonus. Really nice crook minifigure with these sh tinted shades as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of great $13, $10 sets in this wave, which is just fantastic that there's a lot of affordable small Lego City sets. Only one set over $100 even. Then finally, we have the police station chase. $50, 172 pieces. This is another four plus set and another set that's just not for me. This little police car is kind of neat. I like the Crooks motorbike, the four plus police station. I could not care less about, but for a four plus design, this is actually pretty good, I'll admit. That is all of the Lego City Police Fire and Rescue 2023 sets, guys. I really, really like a lot of this LEGO City Wave. It's better priced than past waves. Uh, the, the builds are really nice. There's a lot of cheaper options uh, all around. This is one of the most solid LEGO City Waves in many, many years. They're finally kind of switching up some of the stale formulas. And I really, really appreciate that. Like I said at the start of the video, I would like to know what you guys thought of these sets. Let me know in the comments down below which ones are your favorites. If you liked the video, leave a like. It is a great way for you to show your support. Subscribe for more content like this, Lego news videos, reviews, all that sort of stuff you can find on my channel. There's gonna be a ton more videos today, so subscribe so you can see those as soon as they come out. And with all that said, thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.